the fight is coming. And Falcons are expecting it. There's the swing. There's the fight. It's good for G2. It's a two for one. Madden trying to change that. Does finish off onto Monacy. Pressure from Dark. This is a big fight. Ooh, snappy. He had an opportunity there onto Hooksy. Dips back into the site. Not an overcommitment here yet. Bump towards B side. Eco in support of Hooksy. Got Rushley and MC for all that observing goodness. Rushley on the numbers, MC on the cams. Nico, Ivy. Hooksy, Glyph. Test for Hooksy now. Nico noted they're going to double peek him. It's too good on the clock. Good work from Nico. That's there the Nico we know. Lovely second. And the they're monster. Actually, they're repositioning together. So this is going to be very hard for Madden to win. He needs two very clean taps. If their spacing is good, he should be run down and traded at the most. Oh, couldn't isolate it. That was his opportunity. Trying to isolate the jewels. He gets run down by them both. It's a big Ooh. round from Nico. And that feels good if you're a G2 fan. Have this moment from Nico straight from the get-go. His vertigo was atrocious. He's not having a good time at Pro League. But now we start with a smile. A good round from Nico here on the pistol. And a lot of tempo out of Falcons. The amount of seconds they just waited. They hoped that G2 would change their mind. They hoped that G2 would start second guessing. Maybe send a rotate towards the A side, but it didn't. Hooksy and Nico stayed strong. And that is a 1-0. How about a good start for G2? Like, how about it? It's how not about That'd be great. They're losing this round. But oh my God. Re irregardless, you know, it's a G2 game, so you have to talk about the veto, right? <laughs> yeah. And considering Falcons, Permaban, Inferno, this is an easy you know, map for the easy veto for them to prepare. They know G2 is going to pick Anubis, so let's see if they have something special in store for this one. Ooh, they're pushing. That's ambitious. You're, you you have lost an opening, puts it all onto Nexa on A. There's five Falcons just taking fights. Monacy, he'll profit from Magisk, willing that fight into existence. Long range, Max oh my God. 10. That was real committed out of yeah, Monacy. Hunter, he had the uh... nade could be good. 15 HP for Snappy. He's trapped. That's why Hunter's staying so active, but there is a chance for some Pius or Dupree to take that fight. A deep smoke towards a main, it's lurkable. Yeah, just looking for kills. Like Hunter knows he's got the long range gun, he's got the advantage, he keeps on peeking and he's gonna maybe get rewarded, that's it. First kill onto Snappy's Ooh. PB3, Nico teams up with Nexa as he retakes and claims the territory. And that's the commit from Fakasi, they're gonna cross the smoke, Nexa with the first and the second. The MP9 stands strong and G2 withstand the test of round number two. Hmm, Yanko? It's happening. <laughs> yeah, a strong start for G2. When was the last time we said that? I, all I had to do was to sit here. <laughs> yeah. And then suddenly, the good start is here. Well, Lucas here, they're, they're trying to take the game to Falcons, right? The aggressive play with the smoke stairs coming out of A main and, and, and two players peeking dark as well. Doesn't work out for Hooksy, but they still managed to salvage the round. Another buy from Hal Falcons. Even without the plant, they want to keep the pressure up. Let's see if this catches G2 off guard. Yeah, well, that scout's been revealed now, but he's done it with a tag. Oh, stabilizes, oh takes Monacy, overstepping perhaps into Hunter. And that leaves us in a 4v4. They are trying to bully Nexa now. This Util set from Dupree. Cameras, Nico's not going to be able to be a, a, a helping hand. And oh no, Nexa, a missed spray. Just got to give it up. Bad smoke on cams. Nico can just walk in. I don't know if that's on purpose. Nico no, finds I don't the think gap. So that's a mistake. It's cost them greatly. Now they can just push through it. That smoke aids, it abets them. And it's a 3-0. Falcons, you've invested. You are in trouble. A fourth round brewing. I'm a bit confused by that smoke, actually. I think what, you just missed it. Straight supposed up. to be. Like, Cams, yeah. Like, it's supposed to be deep in there. Instead, they had, like, a lovely one to come out of various angles. Clear heaven as well, comfortably. This was big from Hunter. The fact he was so stubborn on dark, trapped start snappy, and ensured he could find an equalizer. But this is Nico just pushing that smoke. Very comfortable. I love the aggression from, from G2, you know, just not playing scared, going for these fights, going for these peaks, even Hunter in the 4v5, I mean, some pilots just ripped the head off clean from Monacy and you're still going for that fight, understanding we need to equalize this and just, I think that's also when Hunter plays his best counter strike, like he goes for a lot of these peaks that, you know, feel sometimes, is that really necessary, but he just makes it happen. Yeah, if you convert, I mean, you know, that's... No harm, no foul. Because it's also sometimes people overthink it. Like, okay, this is a long range against mm -hmm. pistols. Maybe no armor or whatever. Do you really want to just let them get into dark and then you have all this weird scenarios just 
Take I, the fight. I think they're going to keep doing that for as long as they don't feel an AWP coming against them. Like, it's been two rounds in a row that they fight Cave to mid. All the timing. Hunter nade in hand. That makes Joy of Snappy with the Tech 9, but it's only one. Feels like Snappy and Hooksy have a sixth sense. Okay. Wait a minute. 2v2 now. Loss of the sight. Nico and Nexa forced to retake it. This is actually spiraling out of control. It was just Deagles. It was just Deagles. Hunter caught on that crazy timing from Snappy, but the house of cards has come tumbling down. So Empires, a very diligent clear. He wants to make sure he can get this bomb down uncontested and will do so. Flash main. Empires trap goes down clean. Nice work from Nexa. Nico's low, so if anything, you want Nico to try and take this first fight. Dude, be Pree's got 4 HP. So with a kit, Nick Nico can defuse. Nothing can go wrong. Just when I thought I was out, <laughs> they pull me back in. Gosh. No, but I was saying Hooksy and Snappy both have this sixth sense from where to just push the smoke in dark, right? Like it seems like the, the opponent is always pulling out an aid. You saw it. Hunter even like swapped back to his gun, suspected a push through the smoke. Then return to his nade as Snappy caught that timing. So yeah, very admirable from him. And I think real quick, just, you know, we were talking about Falcons know G2's pick is going to be yes, Anubis. Right. They pick T side, right? And I'm sure they had a game plan of what they want to attack and whatnot. But that plan doesn't come into effect until now, right? Why? Because you lose the pistol, then you try to force two times in a row. Those rounds are a little bit different. And also G2 were the aggressors. So it's only in round five that you really get to sort of play what you envisioned. And then that also maybe changes a little bit because you're 4 0 down. Yeah, they start 3 mid and they flash through. Dupree and Madden both with white screens as Vision's restored. Uh, they are faded to black for Madden. Big from Nico. They are not stopping this aggression. This is the kind of G2 CT side. It's perfectly designed for a map like Anubis. Uh, it's very in your face. And a map that is still a mystery to many teams as to how to get into these powerful situations on the CT side. But the 5v4 has been established and Mane is in the right position to punish some pious. Easy line. Another one. Five versus three now. G2 is coasting. Hooksy's cruising for a bruising. Dupree should be able to isolate him. There's a second there. And yeah, nice. It's next up. Good for it. Magisk and Snappy have made no secret of their A main presence. A very well timed flash has sent them packing. And now you're in a two versus four scenario where there should be nothing. Nexa ensures it. It's a seven and zero start from Nexa as well. So every time they've come his way, he's had no problems. I mean, Falcons are pretty much in a reactive position from round one. That's what's been happening. Every single important round, they had to react to something that G2 was putting forth. Twice, yeah. duels from the cave area. Now that mid push with the flash. So if you're a snappy, you never really get to a point where you can execute what you wanted to do. First, you had to handle the aggression. And then, as we can see, G2 are moving faster. They are predicting the rotations. There were three on the A side when Dupree tries to take the timing towards middle. It, they're, ahead, they're one step ahead right now. G2 is one step ahead in this map of Anubis. Well, I also wonder, you know, does that second round aggressive push on A from G2 play into their plan for the whole half? Because here, you know, obviously, you have three guys mid. <laughs> You're going to be pretty weak towards the side, and they, they decide to be uh, weak towards A, and, you know, Falcons probably a little bit wary after how those early rounds sure. went, are not going to be prone to taking aggressive map control there. So that's what allows for G2 to make the, the play and then also reset the round. Still no AWP in Falcons, and that's going to be needed. You see the way G2 is playing their CT side right now? What you need is an AWP. You need an AWP ready to punish. You need to have lines under control. You need to have some security. And now Falcons we have none of that. B. Now we start 3B after all of that conditioning, as you said, Yanko. They are going to go for a more standard setup, conceding middle. Reactive flash pulled by Hooksy. It's also where they're where G2 has struggled. I mean, Hunter and Hooksy there haven't had uh, haven't had the best of times, the most fun of times. Ooh. And also, Ooh, nice shot lovely. from Honesty. The old Ants team, right, on Anubis, they really had tons and tons of those B executes, all kinds. But now they're sneaking towards the A bomb side. Yeah, look at Manis' rotation already. It's on the radar, it tells the whole story. He started on B, he found Dupree, and now guess who's back? He's already behind the site as the hit is about to come through. Nexa, will he be the baiter or will he be the baited? He's just playing for one here. 
They're not going to be expecting this. Nice disruptive positioning. Nexa will close the round down. Hooksy Cherry on top six. They're sorted right now. I guarantee you, when you're Nexa in that smoke and you hear the shuffle Manesi that connects, you know you're golden. Yeah. You know you're golden. Yeah. The T's are going to be absolutely vacuumed by this AWP shot, <laughs> trying to trade. Say that. And that's it. He just loves life. The fact that he gets there, the traces really did portray Snappy there. You can see how exposed he was. Oh. Nice shots from Monacy. This is a, a G2 CT side they can be very proud of. Some Pisces mixing it up, throwing out a deep smoke early. We'll see how this Tech 9, Mac 10, Dupree on a rifle. Snappy's a dead man if he leaves. Just has to wait it out. There's the deep smoke now. Snappy's stalwart. He's looking for information. Anything he can find. On the prowl is Monacy. G2 had 4B at the start of this round. Now they're he's resetting playing, a little a bit. Play. And he's done it again! This snappy persistence into dark. Respect. Mad respect. Just finds timings. And it's beautiful, because the rest of the push is ready towards the A side. So now, Nex is completely alone. And he's going to have to give it up. He's going to have to accept maybe a little bit of damage through the smoke. That's the best you can hope. He's going to wait for the timing. And that's one that stars pretty well, if you ask me. Traded with a little bit of HP, but it doesn't really matter. Oh. as well. Do you retake this? It's I like think they're going to probe. You they're going to see probe. what's up. They're going to see what's up. Maybe someone gets overzealous, overeager. They find a kill and suddenly, because they had kids, but... You wait out the smokes. Waiting. Patience from G2. Well, they're probing, might find Madden. There's a nade and a swing. Next to down. Nice trade. Madden. Oh, down off the one. This is more than a probe. This is an attempt. It's only Nico. A 1v1 versus Dupree. On the pillar, Nico will find it with three HP to spare. A quad kill on the retake from Nico. That is exactly what you need from him. He has not let off the gas since arrival on Anubis. And that one stings. That one stings for Falcons, considering the profile of a game they've been having to finally be in a situation, be in that power play, post plan situation, you have everybody you need. But the, the pause that G2 marks is one of the reasons why Falcons are halfway through positions as they retake. It's, a, it's an eerie timing. After 10, 15 seconds, you start retaking. Perfect moment. <laughs> the yeah. eyes just rolling yeah. to the back of his head. It tells the whole story. It does. Well, it's a full gunny. Dupree, no nades, that's the only difference. They've had Casey, enough. some Pius is trying to entry into Monacy. He's there, perfectly positioned again. And that was Sunfire's first AWP. Oh, that's the second one? Second first time he was when Monacy killed him in dark as well. You're correct, you're correct. So that's the so second duel he doesn't get to shoot, actually. He yeah. hasn't had the opportunity. He hasn't pulled the trigger once. Just the reads have been impeccable from G2. Just individually where players position themselves, the, the aggression too. Well, maybe that read. That's not really impeccable. <laughs> not, not all that. Positioning. Uh, he heard you. <laughs> you manifested it. Oh, God. Dupree's just Round cleaned over. up the B side. How is the gap like that? It's a communication issue. Yeah, that's that, a common thing. It has to be between Hooksy Hunter, knowing when I, when you have the angle, when you don't. Is the, is the smoke fading? Is there a smoke or not? What do you have? What is the risk? Obviously, it's Also, a, I imagine that the couple of times Hunter's been beaten up by being in dark by Snappy. He's trying to play outside of dark, trying to find a new angle, and instead he just gets shot in the back of the head. I think it's a really good, like, friendship litmus test to play B together. If you want to know <laughs> yeah. how healthy your bind is to someone, just play B on Anubis with him. <laughs> or with Ur or whoever that is. Just yeah. try and see if you can survive that test. Agreed. And if at the end of the game you're still friends, that's it. That's You've made it. Well, still friends. I think if you haven't, <laughs> you're, if not at each other's throats, yeah. Yeah. then you're successful I think that's a well. nice metric for it. <laughs> Let's do the Anubis test. Oh, they saved the double orb. That's a choice they G2 have made. Told you, I remember a Hooksy second op on Ubi's B side. He saw Boomich and he said, I can do it. Yeah, this is he a nasty, so nasty death for Hunter to concede. He's had a couple of them back to back. Good shooting from Dupree, undoubtedly. But yeah, yeah, I'm going to feel silly about that one. He's going to be typing, explaining, sorry, I thought this was X and Y and blah, you know. I mean, it could have been also that Hunter himself was holding it and then turned as it's, he's going towards yeah. dark and that's just bad timing. You know, for them, happens, it's Counter-Strike. They're playing a really, really strong half. Just keep it going. Seven rounds already on CT side, Anubis. Ah, it's golden.
it is golden. And also, there's almost no replicability to that round for Falcons. Where you're gonna hope that Dupree finds a double entry in a four v five again out of I'm, nowhere. This is great. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a gift, and you take it. And I I think that's why we see a timeout coming out straight after Falcons because they don't exactly have it figured out. So like this round was the confirmation of a good read. It was Dupree manufacturing it, uh, grabbing the bull by the horn. But now Falcons still have a whole lot of explaining to do. And they don't have the info about the double off. I don't think. For the aggressive T-Stair Smoke. It's gonna have your feckles up. Early Molly Dark Pillar. Oh, good angle from Hooksy. Great shooting. You could have told me that was Monacy. I'd have believed you. Oh, okay. The Hooksy AWP finding himself a double. Be on lock, boys. Does Snappy beat Hunter again in dark? There's no way. Surely not. <laughs> There's gonna be a smash. Here it, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> He's he doesn't care. He just hold. I'm holding this until the end of this round. Come on, Marco. What have you got for me, Marco Polo? Don't turn around, Hunter. Don't turn just around. Just hold. Just don't hold the smoke or leave. He's, he's opted for the latter. That's fair enough. I mean. Now with the AWP of Hooksy, you can. I, generally, I'm not a big fan of playing passive defensive on the B side, but when you have an open and 5v3, I, I think it makes sense. It is a sensible decision. It's gonna be that extra. Two clears mid with a flash. Nico rotates to be as the third player. Oh, they should have it on lockdown. He has a molly as well. For a third boss, he has the leg shot on the sun bias. He's not done. Hooksy's not done. He's dancing with the fire, putting him out of his comfort. Hunter now found by Snappy somehow. <laughs> three, that's number four. Is that number three, three. for Hooksy? Four! There it is. Is. What is going on? He's an Opa. You need your off Hooksy. Yeah, exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, All right, then. Falcons are not loving it, but we're no. loving it. Yeah. And I guess if you're a snappy trying to piece it all together, you're thinking, well, he just 4 would us on the B-side, so what do we do now? And that's oh. what, these are not like easy shots. No. I mean, he only oh, no. sees the head of the first oh, guy. Oh, he hears oh, the second guy burn. No, no. Come on! Why would this thing all the time? <laughs> I should be OP all the time. <laughs> Uh-oh, watch out. The shark is in the water. Snappy's headed dark once more. Nade will clear him out. Ooh. He's safe from it. No swing from Hunter this time. This nade exchange, it's constant. And Snappy certainly has been getting the better of him. A slower uh, start. He brings his big brother now. <laughs> yeah. Watch out. Hooksy's on. Lock. It's. Ooh, a near miss shot. He's going to get run down now by the Mac 10s, and it's Hunter. Empty handed. Hooksy getting run out. Going to get overlooked. Perhaps his Nico tracks into the first. Manages the multi kill. Onto Magis. Can slow things down. Two towards May, and they're holding him. He swings into the angle. Lives to tell the tale. A Molly for the potential of a close. He is forced wide. Stands. Delivers another. Nico makes it work. Magic on the B site to defend his honor. Defend his team. 2v2. It's Dupree to put him down. Mickey Mouse on the casting desk with me. The bomb is gone. Turn by just peaced out. I don't want none of that deal. None of the shenanigans. Planting on the A side right now. Resetting the clutch. Okay, how do Monacy and Nexa play this? They're both going canals, but they know Dupree can hear them. Oh, they'll hear Dupree. Oh, they hear him 100%. Dupree, you gotta know. Yes, they're alive now. Oh, 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 just by living. Just feeding them. They have to get the wiggle on. Some oh, oh, they miss him. Some is playing fishtail. He's, has gonna, a he's exposed. Kind of he's committed to this angle. Some pies. They're worried Maybe about middle. Okay, just about works it out. Now we're not looking. How oh. are you looking mid? Dupree's there. Smoke spotted. Shot available. Hits no it. Has he really got time? He has it. He's got it. Oh, that's Nothing a horrible is round Falcons. from Falcons. Nothing that is, is a horrible round from Falcons. How have they won that? All right, uh, is this when we, we tap out? Is that, that's the moment? I think Chad would have called this map over like three rounds ago. Yeah. The hell is going on? But Chad's not here, oh, so, okay. Maniac. Chad's not here. I, was I think, wait, this is where after the first two kills, when he doesn't like swing into the third, that's when you know he's hit that flow state, yeah. right? He's got like, 16 kills at that point in time. No, but no! I mean, it's the optimal play, right? <laughs> I think Dupree also, he had the 1v1 against Nico and this one where he's whole, trying to get for the fight, yeah. doesn't work out two times. 17 and four. All that frustration built up in Nico. This entire event just released right now on Falcons. Out to the face of Falcons. 
All over it. Is it all over Red Rover? Or is there a Falcon's Resurgence available? It's the T side of Anubis. This is where you're supposed to be getting the nine, not one. It was such a an in intriguing position for some players as well. He must have had the information that Dupree was mid. Somehow he was holding camera. I'm a little confused. Surely the comms aren't exactly flowing. And now Snappy once again in cave. Revenge. Revenge. Vindication from Hunter. He finally <laughs> best Snappy in that position. Still threatening. Some players walking middle. Dupree, he's been flashed off of the line. Hunter and Hooksy are trying to retake some control. He keeps attention drawn as Magis catches an aggress from Nexa. That felt unnecessary in a 5v4. He's now going to get tested. Monacy down after one. An important trade from Madden. Bombs on his back. That's been spotted on the minimap. Nico's got a high pressure scenario and a big frag from Hunter. Nico lets off the gas as well. By finding Magisk, you can chill now. Job done. Mission accomplished. Bombs going down. Madden in a clutch that he can certainly work with. Especially with the smoke cameras. That's going to allow him to reposition. Isolate some jewels towards main, or at least sow seeds of doubt. Nico and Hooksy, trade potential required. Hunter to swing on the timing. Just walk through the smoke. They're going to be able to find good angles here. Just as the attention's drawn, Hunter will strike. And another G2 round. They are not stopping. Ten CT rounds on Anubis. And you can see how ahead of the players they are ahead because Nico's position. Right? That's the biggest tell you need. Falcons just completely lose track of who is where. You've killed Nexa on the push. You've traded Monacy into camera. And then suddenly Nico is there again in a position where you wouldn't expect him to be necessarily. Magisk is absolutely not peeking that angle. He's just wide swinging, put down immediately. I mean, G2 cannot do... They can do no wrong right now. One T round. You, yeah. get, you get your choice of sides, right? You chose Yeah, to yeah, they here. chose to, But I mean, you can't even say that... I can't even sit here and say Falcons are having a terrible... You know, they're playing yeah, a no. bad T side. I think it's just G2 is really... Has really stepped up in this half, had a good start, kept going. Okay. <laughs> kept going. He's doing the brokey. Very forward position from a sniper. <laughs> And Snappy's been waiting here. He's, he's done this multiple times. Let's see if it pays off for this kind of play as well. Is Monacy going to be anticipating such a play? This fade is... He's on a timer. He is on a timer. He's all covered by they Nico. Cover. That's what you need from a teammate. Nico takes the fight to facilitate the retreat. Now spotted out is Monacy. Same could be said for Magis. The rest can congregate towards B. A jump spot and smoke. They'll have a choice to be made. That was supposed to be a fast B split from Falcons. They used four smokes early on, right? But Snappy couldn't progress because he heard Monacy come up and then they couldn't really get rid of him, waiting for the smoke to clear. But Nico with the cover and now the round is really hard from for Falcons. I feel for them. Whoa. I feel for Whoa. what they've gone through this entire half. Is powerless, helpless. That's how you feel if you're Falcons right now. There is that gap mid. Yeah, but G2 is aware. I look at the rotation from Hooksy. No, Hooksy doesn't have cameras right now. That's what I'm saying. It does mean that Nico has got a lot to do. Oh, there's at least a bit of info ahead of the plate. Nico does deliver. And it's a double kill with that AK-47 as well. Some pious claws in back. Magic's not ready. Nico just keeps bringing the fight to them. Some pious in the 1v3. And no chance in that one. This is G2's map, baby. We should wrap this one up. A third map seems necessary, but we'll find out after the break.
Backed into it on death's door. This is the last chance stage. Losing team is eliminated. And Falcons and G2, two giants in the Counter-Strike space. These organizations, some of the largest with big names in them. And now they clash on our second map of the series. It was an overtime affair on Vertigo. And now we find ourselves on Anubis. It could be a very quick trip into the second half, into the T half for G2, as they've boasted 11 on the half. One hell of a defense. I've got YNK and Maniac with me. We've got a fast A smoke in the sky. Molly Bricks, here we go. Two to receive. And already blind as a bat. Magis stabilizes his aim. Snappy, the P2K tested. Hooksy needs this onto Dupree. Pressure is on. Bomb making its way in. It's a big one back from Hunter. And now the flank is dealt with as well. Some Pius, if he finds this, the game is on. 2v2 takes shape. Rush He's the won. They planted. They've won. No defuse kits. They don't know where he is. They have an inkling. Oh, now they know. great shot from Madden. This could get Falcon's juices flowing. G2, they could win it right here if Hunter comes up clutch and he's already found one. Fakes it out. Madden down. It's Hunter on the clutch. Four kills on the clock. High impact from Hunter. And we can now stick a fork in this one. Curtains. No way this can go wrong. Right? Insult yeah. go. to injury. Yes. yes. No No way, no way this can go wrong. So we've got Nuke. We can start talking about that. This That's is in the plethora, you know, in the, the, the portfolio of G2's different maps they have in store for their fans. This is the sort of, this is called the tease. Uh, right? right? Like they tease you with how good it can look, how mm. good it can be. Nico's having a game, probably best half I've seen him play, you know, for in real. a very, very long time. 170 ADR. This is so you're not like Ooh. so. This is so you're never done with G2. It's because of moments like this. They make you believe. Tend to hook. This is interesting. Snappy's taken down Nexa, but that was kind of where they wanted to finish. G2 reclaim a little bit of map control, but still a number down. Some bias now. He's going to protect his teammates as they retake information towards middle. And G2 is just being patient, and the patience is rewarded. Hunter oh. fights almost a second. Nico That's can finish it. Kills. Oh, he didn't hit the shot. He's getting pushed through mid. There, Nico is completely exposed. Snappy will find it. That is a second round conversion. Taking shape. They still look a little confused. I yeah. mean, uh, they were about to leave the A side, and Senpai has realized, hold on a minute, we don't have the bomb. We don't know where they are, so a good reposition. But still, I think a bomb plant is on the card if Senpai doesn't hit immediate headshot. Well, that's good enough. Hooks, he's been put on 10 HP. Monacy now posted on the angle. Scout unable to connect the second. Rotations are on their way. That's going to put some Pius on notice. They are low. Hooksy and Monacy. It really has to be the Monacy show, though. Hooksy, he's, he's just there for moral support and getting that bomb down. Monacy, what can you do? Hooksy's actually provided one before he falls. Now this Galil could come up clutch if he's feeling himself. Monacy, two players on his screen! Whoa! He nearly stabilized. That bullet whistled past the ear of Magis. That could have been something special. I think Madden said, I thought it was over. I think he didn't know there was one more guy alive, I think. At least the Falcons are having a... A laugh about it. I mean, not, not much else they can do. <laughs> in the logical order, they should have lost that clutch. Just another one yep. in the terrible list of situations that went terribly wrong for Falcons. But at, at the very least, they survived this 4v2. Got a little uncomfortable at the end. Why are you buying again? <laughs> I mean... It's unnecessary, but it's probably a set call. A little bit, you I know? think it's a set call. Um, Just let them enjoy themselves a little bit. It's been a minute since they had a 12-2 lead against anybody. Mm. Just let them have a good time. What's the play here? It's mostly towards the B side. Hooksy is just doing his due diligence on top of stairs. Make sure no one pushed too much. At least Falcons have the right read. 3 and 1 1 setup currently. Madden playing close by with the MP9, and he's going to have a whole lot to do. This is a lurk smoke B. Then more UA util. And then push. Madden caught with a smoke in his hands. It's worked out wonderfully for G2. This pocket call. This surprise what? force by Dupree with huge work. Two and a half. He will get spammed from behind. Hooksy doesn't finish his meal. Now Dupree's got the free, the liberty to push into Nico. One is all Nico can post. A clutch available for Hooksy. What's he got? Dipping around the site. Does dink up Snappy, but they convert. Falcons. 
They'll post a third. The force buy from G2, though threatening, does not convert. And if you still doubt that sometimes Counter-Strike is a game of millimeter and milliseconds, that is a very good round to reassure you once again. That little bit of a fake, on paper it's not that much. It's, it's a combination from Hooksy. It's a smoke, it's a Molotov, it's a flash and then a few steps. But it's just enough to trigger a little movement from Falcons, just a little step. And at the time where a re-smoke comes in from Nexa, bam, that's when they pounce. Like this is exactly how you're supposed to do it. They know they don't have a strong fake, but it's just enough to make you dial for about a second and a half. And that's when you hit the moment. Dupree's open for it. You want to fight? Let's fight. I mean, when you've been having the game they had, you take you take these moments. We can finally set, stretch your legs a little bit. Ah, look at this snappy. Just go ahead. You know, there's no armor. You got an MP9. Go make some money. Some players, let, let your leader make some money. Financially, it makes sense. No way he gets fast. No way. God, <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. Trade on A. How can it go wrong? It can't. Dupree's holding window. Uh, How uh, can it go uh, wrong? Uh, uh, Nexus uh, got himself a second. Now Madden's angle. Madden's angle is going to be very hard for Hunter to expect. That's a lovely conversion from Madden. The Deagle is hot right now from Nexus. No. And he's nailed another. This would be one hell of a closer to Anubis. At this point, just stick with the Deagle. It's working. Yeah, you're right. It's working for you. No, Kev, you need that one shot headshot so get anyway. The bomb plant. It, and it is an absolutely Nexa favored clutch. As simple as it is. The timing he's got, he's not aware of it. But he has the luxury of choosing any position he wants without any steps, any noise. And Senpai is playing against the clock without a smoke, without a kit. Where did it go wrong? He didn't plant for himself. It's the mind game. I understand that. And no kit from Senpai, so that would favor G2. Planted for main, and he is considering main exclusively. Now next can slip out, and ladies and gentlemen, he's done him. He's booked him. Some pious wastes all of that time. The 10 second defuse accepts his fate. He's off the bomb. The round is done. It's Nexa with the Deagle who closes it out. Falcons, they can't convert on map two. It's a G2 13 to 3 scoreline. One hell of a performance. Nexa with some style points on the close and we need Nuke to separate these teams. We need Nuke to determine which one of G2 and Falcons is eliminated here at ESL Pro League.